Hello and welcome to a new tutorial here on VFX Hive. Today with Mike the Houdini guy and as you might know Houdini 18 was released. So there are a lot of awesome great interesting features that you can find out with this new release. But today I want to show you a little quick tip here how you can create some kind of water bomb splashes with custom velocity inside of Houdini. So just for sharing my, my love with the new version, what you definitely should check out is here the sparse pyro FX that allows you to create large scale fireball space below smoke. You can also render on your GPU, simulate on your GPU. So very great stuff. Also the um, awesome Karma renderer and the other additions are worth to get this new version. But for today I want to show you in this quick tip how you can create some effect like you see here at the moment we see nothing because here's nothing to see you can go along but when we go inside our dop network dop means dynamic operator and dynamic operator is in houdini the operator that is responsible for dynamics in liquids and in fire sims and in destruction everything that is dynamic and has some forces and gravity is here in the in the dop network in the auto dop network so we dive inside and you can see here i pretty much have set up some interesting node tree and before we start to make everything available here I want to show you the effect that is happening inside of this scene here. So I take this torus and as you can see here, I have a sub solver and a multi solver solver. And in the multi solver is the flip solver here and the flip tank. And the sub solver pretty much drives the geometry here inside of that node tree. So I'm back for good. And as you can see here, the water is pumping through this flip tank here and is going like crazy. But this is pretty much the effect of some kind of water bomb that you can create very easily here. As you can see, I used a very large amount for, for the creation of the impact. So the flip is actually driven by a custom velocity field and this velocity field is created with the torus that is actually a point that's advecting the flip solver particles and creates this kind of extra velocity effect you can see here. So the flip simulation is happening in the container in the container here. It's using the narrow band uh, simulation technique and narrow band is a technique where you can use to update the fluid surface and velocity volumes within the bandwidth of the fluid surface. Any particles deeper into the fluid than the bandwidth will be removed from the simulation. So you can actually save a lot of time in your simulations with the narrow band 
but you can always go to the waterline when you activate the waterline here in the volume motion you can always set your 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 height your height of the narrow band distribution here with this slider and the bandwidth as you can see gives you the ability to create depth of your water simulation so i will now go into the flip tank the flip tank is actually the domain in which the flip simulation is happening and i will crank down the particle sim separation to make it a bit more um, higher resolution and as you can see he the computer takes even a bit more time to calculate the amount of particles and creates this interesting water splash effect here and this is all happening here in the multi solver connected to the sub solver and we have given the torus a constant velocity which is pushing those fluids up in the air so as you can see a big splash of water that you can use for a lot of interesting tasks like impacts or when something bursts out of the water or a cannon hits a water level or an explosion is happening in the water then you can pretty much use this technique to bump up some interesting volume motion here so i dive now in the sub solver the sub solver is actually where the magic is happening and what you do you create an object merge here use your impact object in my case it's a torus and transform it into this object when you use in a specific object then it's on the wrong place so use into this object so you have the same merging values you have also uh, in the creation of your of your torus and then the dot geometry the like we uh, discussed in the beginning the dot geometry is the dynamic geometry is piped into a group and here you can actually see where the magic is happening so I took the group here and um, settled it to the points and I wanted an initial merge with the replacement of existing uh, points and I want also that those points stay in a bounding region so I enabled here this uh, bounding region and I use I'm using bounding objects points or the vertices only and this is running into an attribute wrangle and in the attribute wrangle you can then take your your group here which is this node here and we run over the points from points we get from the group so we take actually the torus in the object merge run over the points on that fluid surface and go to an attribute wrangle with some vex code to set here at the equals set and the value for your for your uh, velocity direction so i'm using a value of six but you can also use a higher value like eight and this is where 
then the um, object is calculated and is creating the custom velocity field. And as you can see, it's pushing the, the particles right away. So you, it's creating this, this great splash of water here. And you can actually use any object that you can think of or that you need for your production. So here we have this water plume, this mushroom coming out of the water surface. And when you want to use, for example, a test geometry, we go into the object level here. This is actually the new here on, in Houdini, the stage and task. This is really great stuff that we will cover later, but um, you go into the object level, hit the tabulator tab and type test. And for our case, we take this warp and we make some positioning here because squab loves water and squab and water belongs together like love and air. And that's why we now use this squab as a collision object for our water bomb explosion. So I hide the torus and uh, do some uh, final positioning here. Hello, Mr. Squab. Where is SpongeBob and Patrick? Did you see them? I don't know what what he thinks, but water and Squab is a cool combination. And you go back into the Autodop network, and you go inside the object merge, pick this open floating operator chooser. Then you have everything listed in your scene here. And you pretty much go to the test geometry squab and pick your squab. And to make sure to see what points are in, in, uh, in intersecting with this object, you go to the group and there you see our points here. This is Mr. Sk Mr. Flat Squab. Mr. Flat Squab is the friend of, uh, of Patrick, the flat star. And those points are pretty much representa are a representation of the points that we will blow up now with a velocity speed of 8. So we go back and let the simulation run. And as you can see, we have a bit the shape of the squab here in the water. But this is a great example what you can do with custom geometry with some uh, little changings. And as you can see, the water is coming up very, um, very dramatic. And I think um, this concept is pretty interesting and easy. And um, when you should have questions please write in the comments don't forget to follow the vfx hive because we have a lot of great stuff for 2020 to come and if you also want to support me with a little pledge you can go on patreon on insect digital alchemy and i hope you learned something as the squab did here with patrick and his friends under the sea level because it's very turbulent now and i hope you enjoy the new release of houdini like i do it's it's a very awesome release and if you have question just put a comment and mail me and here is the final result again So I made a quick uh, flipbook here for you to see what the effect is looking like. And it's pretty much the rise of Mr. Squab.
From the deep of the ocean, Mr. Squap is coming to the surface to say thank you on Thanksgiving, which is even today. Don't eat Mr. Squap, eat some turkey. And you can see here, this is the effect. And you can play around with it and make your own custom velocity fields. So thanks for watching, leave a comment, hit, hit to like, and see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.